I, I can't even tell you what that locker room felt like afterwards. It was one of the more bizarre locker rooms that I'd have, I, I can't even tell you what that locker room felt like afterwards. It was one of the more bizarre locker rooms that I had ever seen. We all come back to the locker room and, and to know Denny, um, he had his shirt undone, his shirt was untucked, uh, he didn't have a hat on, and those were two things that you never saw with Denny. You never saw him without a hat and you never saw his shirt untucked. And he was kicking this, this green Gatorade cup. You know those green Gatorade paper cups? He just was kicking this one, you know, on the ground. It was eerily quiet, like I'll, ne I'll never forget it. He said, I don't want anybody saying anything to the media because when I get in there, I'm going off. We, we just kind of blew it off because we were all kind of disappointed and we just wanted to go home. He didn't want us to talk to the media because he knew he had some words for the media. And the, the locker room was down, but we knew at the same time that we could have and we should have won that game. Then, I don't want anybody saying anything to the media when I get in there. Because when my ass gets in there, I'm going to go ape shit. And I was, whoa, what? And, you know, to hear him talk like that, for him to be so angry, like he literally sat there and kicked that cup for at least five minutes. One of the biggest disappointments of my career is I stayed in the press box because I was on deadline. I was literally in the first row right in front of the podium and I remember thinking to myself as he started, I was bracing myself because I'm thinking here's a guy who's going to give us two word answers, he's going to be super ticked off and he wasn't. It began pretty unremarkably and it was, it was all going pretty much pro forma. Nothing too much out of the ordinary. I don't think I've ever uh, been associated with a loss where it was kind of clear that the offense couldn't score a touchdown. People started asking questions about hard stuff, and he answered like it was any other game. I think anybody watching this game is surprised by the ending, and you never should be surprised in a game of football. Um, you know, uh, all the way right down to the last 40 seconds. And then the question came, and it was a freelance writer, and he was writing for one of the Chicago papers. In this particular case, I reached out to the Chicago Sun-Times. I had made some contacts with them in the past, worked for them in the past. So I worked that night for the Sun-Times, uh, augmenting their coverage on site. It had to do with Rex Grossman and the Cardinals forced, I think, six takeaways. I was not a Cardinals beat writer, so I'm not here every day for practice or for games. So I didn't know Dennis's personality or how he would respond. I, th I thought the Cardinals defense played extremely well that night, and that was going to be the focus of my sidebar, and that was the e essence of the question. Coach, uh, four picks against Grossman and two fumbles. What did you see about the Bears? Uh, we shut them down that way? No, we, you know, I mean, we, we, we just, uh, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. What, what, they're what we thought they were. The emotion sort of keeps escalating. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bullshit, bullshit? But it's natural under the circumstances. It's certainly not, not beyond reason. We played him in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. And, and then he's getting more excited and, and perhaps more agitated. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. I kind of like put my head down. I'm like, oh, God, this is, this is going to be a big deal. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. When he pauses, we better, we better, we better shut this down. We better, we better not let another question uh, keep this thing going. Thanks, Coach.